definitely a tale of two halves. I thought, uh, you know, the first half, um, we got good wide open shots and we knocked them down and uh, still five point game going into the fourth quarter. I thought, I thought Connecticut just played at a, a, at a different pace, different energy, different pace in the second half on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. Yeah, we took one uncontested three in the second half. Uh, that was the one that we hit. All the other ones were all contested. I think, I mean, they had a lot to do with it as well. But, you know, a, a lot of, I, I was I was pleased how, I thought we had a good two days of practice. They were, they were prepared, they came out. But, I mean, no one's going to care on how we played in the first half. You know, I think the last three times we've played them, we've been up at halftime. But, um their guys, again, I thought Odota had a really good night. There was a method to what they wanted to do, get her established. I thought she finished around the rim. When we stayed on that shoulder and brought, she had those three travel calls. But, um, you know, you can't you can't turn the ball over 22 times. We had 13 at half, and we were still up. So that was something that we needed to fix and didn't improve. Um, but, again, beginning of third, beginning of fourth, we're up. We have the basketball fourth quarter. We also have the ball coming out of those timeouts, and we uh, we broke down. Uh, but you know this this team, you know, will continue to get better and learn from this stuff. A lot of guys in that locker room have never experienced this before. Well, yeah, we we had a lot more rebounding opportunities because we missed so many more shots. So it's good that we came up with them. But the difference is when they get their offensive rebounds, they're right around the rim and they finish. Where ours, a lot of were, were chased down offensive rebounds, hustle plays, which are good. But then you only got 20 seconds again to run stuff. I think the game became more of a half court game in the second half where we got out and ran in transition and got easy baskets. We didn't get many transition baskets in the second half. That was a big difference. What were your impressions of this uh, UConn team? Obviously, you've seen them go through different uh, phases throughout the years, but there's a lot of talk about this year's team and where it can compare to previous ones. Well, I mean, they've lost three games. Everybody, they're going to be a number two seed in the NCAA tournament. Things happen, they can still be a number one. You know, still got some very good players and and Gino does a great job with his team. I think people around the country get spoiled because of all the success that they've had. <laughs> how many how many teams around the country would like to have their record right now? Uh, what I'm impressed about is how they can play three guys 40 minutes and, and another guy play 37 minutes at the pace and conditioning level that those four guys play. Are you sad to see them lose the AAC? Yes, very sad. Because, I mean, I, you know, uh, the uh, they brought great credibility to our conference. You know, I enjoy our players enjoy playing them, and I enjoy coaching against them. So uh, we are sad for them to leave. To sort of follow up on that question, what do you know of any future non-conference games that you guys might play? Yes, yes, we uh, we definitely are not going to play in two years because they're going to an 18 league schedule. But we already have confirmed. Uh, you know, there's nothing in writing, but uh, in in uh, in talks with their, with them, we will open up. Uh, what so it would be th uh, three seasons from now. We don't we'd go up there and they would return the year after. So the series will continue, but not within the next two years because they have more league league games going into the Big East. So they gotta adjust their non-conference schedule. Did a really good job in the first half, and then the second one we didn't play together as we have done in the first half. The ball was not like moving and we start not defending even as the first half. So that does bring us to like by 20 points, like, you know. Can you guys both uh, reflect on the crowd? It was packed in there today. You guys seem to really draw a lot of energy from them early on. Can you just both talk about the uh, impact of that? Yeah, it's just always nice playing in front of a crowd, a big crowd. <laughs> 
like yeah. I mean personally coming from Italy I don't have this kind of like people that's come watching the game like 6,000 was like amazing when I got inside the court I'm like wow you know it's always like a good experience what's it like playing a team like UConn I mean they're Stark contrast to any other team in this league, right? Yeah, it's definitely fun. You like everybody's always hyped up to play UConn, but like we just I mean we had a first good half, but we stopped doing what we were doing in the first half, so you guys lost the Steels ballot, seventeen steals, you guys five just not expecting the quickness on the bench. Yeah, they really they really defend hard in the second half and we didn't have that kind of effort that we had in the first one, so that's did a match and we just turn over the ball. Yeah, we stopped meeting passes. We stopped like getting open. We, yeah. Jose was saying in the second half, you guys took one uncontested three pointer. Was it hard to adjust to their adjustment on defense? Uh, I think we just stopped moving the ball. Everybody was trying to do like one on one instead of trying to drive, draw somebody, kick. So we just stopped doing what we were doing in the first half. Take any solace in the fact that he gave you gone a pretty good run. Most teams don't don't do that. Yeah, we do, but it was not enough, you know. We had to keep pushing and keep working hard, but and we didn't, and that's what like bothered us right now. But we have UCF Wednesday, so we have to keep the heads up and get go get a win there. So last year you guys led by the exact same score at halftime. Was there any sort of thought about? Yeah, that's what I say when I got in the locker room the half time. I was like, guys, this is what happened last year. We cannot let them go now in the third quarter because that's what they have done last year too. So, but. You good? Yeah, obviously you guys have only been here for a couple seasons, but what you kind of done about being a member of this conference? Is there anything you can speak about them? I mean, they're definitely a good team. You know, everybody's chasing after them. Everyone wants to beat them. But, yeah, we just have to give our best every day. We didn't do that today, so. Do you guys think you'll change the mindset next year when you're no longer in this conference? In terms of how you think of yourselves within the AAC or your places? I mean, I think, uh, I don't know. Probably yes, just because we know that it's a, like they are a hard team. So sometimes, like it's difficult for us to beat them too. Like it's not like nothing too hard. So next year, that's they're not gonna be with us. Uh, we need to like push, push. I I don't even know, but I think it's a good thing for us, but it's a bad thing yeah. too because we didn't have the like we don't have the opportunity to play against them next year.